noise. And it literally sounded like a plane was about to come and just crash into the house. Bunker blast. The force of the explosion at Camp Menden was felt across a wide area just before midnight, with reports of people shaken by the blast from Menden to Shreveport and well beyond. Thanks so much for joining us for KSLA News 12 at 5. Camp Menden is in Webster Parish, and the sheriff there, Gary Sexton, says hazmat experts tell him the underground bunker containing explosives that blew up late last night worked just the way they were designed. We begin now with our live team coverage. KSLA News 12's Sasha Jones is in downtown Menden, and KSLA News 12's Adam Hooper is near Camp Menden. Sasha, let's first go to you. You talk with nearby business owners. What are they telling you about the damage done? Well, there's been quite a bit of damage. Right now, I'm holding a piece of shattered glass that came here from Dixie Floors. As you can see behind me, the window has been knocked out, and it's been boarded up just a couple of hours ago. Now, this is just one of the downtown businesses that has been damaged by the force of the explosion. Other businesses and nearby homes have reported shattered windows. A Shreveport owner who says that they sustained some damage to their business has been in contact with Explo, the company that owns the exploded bunker. And the company has told them that repairs will be coming. Now, this is what she told KSLA News 12 about finding her business damaged. Her was an explosion. So my first thought is I have an old building. What exploded in the building? Is everything okay? And then they talked about maybe it being Camp Minden, maybe it being a meteorite. I just, you know, was worried about the store. Um, tried to get in touch with Monica, got her on the phone, and was just like, what can we do to fix the issue for the night? Now, a local window repair shop owner does tell us that they have been busy all day repairing these damaged homes. We'll have more on that coming up on KSLA News 12 at 6 o'clock, but I do know that Adam Hooper is standing by with more team coverage. Adam, what do you have for us? Well, Sasha, like you just mentioned, this is definitely the talk of the town here in Minden. We've spoke with a lot of people. I know that you and I have both talked with a lot of people, and this is exactly what's on their mind, the bunker blast. Now, we met, made our way over to a gas station here near Minden, and we took a look at some of their surveillance video. Let's go ahead and pop that up right now. You can see in the surveillance video, people are just minding their own business, and you can see the cameras beginning to shake, and you can even see, we'll slow that video down for you again after the cameras shake. Uh, a, a vent falling from the ceiling. You can see that vent falling to the ground. Uh, and just, just one, one of these angles shows just a little bit of damage from within the gas station. Another angle, you can see the cameras start to shake again. And you can actually see two double doors blown open from the explosion. Now, this, the explosion site is several miles away from this gas station. So you can just imagine the impact that that explosion in those bunkers had. Now, we stepped outside of the gas station to talk to somebody filling up. Listen to what she had to say about her experience with the explosion and all of a sudden it felt like the shed was swaying back and forth and was going to fall over. Oh, wow. It scared me. And all my friends came running out asking me, are you okay? Are you alive? And I got phone calls from my mom who lives on the other side of town. Wow. She said she felt like a car ran into her house. Now we've got plenty of coverage to show you on the bunker blast at Camp Minden. Stay tuned. Stay tuned to KSLA.com and KSLA On Air. We'll have much more coming up. Live from Camp Minden, Adam Hooper, KSLA News 12. Adam, thanks. Now this isn't the first time there's been an explosion at Camp Minden. On June 7th of last year, 1,000 pounds of black powder exploded at the GoEx Corning Mill plant there on March of 2011. There was also a fire at the Orica plant but the fire burned itself out and there was never an explosion and in august of 2006 the valentech plant at camp menden had an explosion while making military flares